Hi everybody, that's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. I can't believe we haven't played this on the pod before. I know. I Well, I guess maybe it's we didn't... such a true classic. I don't think we played it because we didn't think it was good for an audio podcast. But now that we to have a wet podcast, well, no, just just it's more of a visual game because it's got like the cool graphics and the nice drawings by the oatmeal. And like it just it didn't seem like an audio favorable game. But now that we're doing video on YouTube and Spotify, you can see the game as well as listen to it. It's an all around multi sensory experience. Yes, it is. Hi, little ghosties. Hi, everybody. Today we are playing. Uh, Exploding kittens, but technically we're playing imploding kittens. Right, because it's the expansion pack. Because we are playing with the imploding kittens expansion pack. Mm -hmm. um, this is a game by exploding kittens. We've played some of their stuff before. Right, and at the time when it was kickstarted, it was the most backed Kickstarter ever. That's what it says according to the box. And they can't lie to us. Right, it's on the box. Yeah, it says it on the box. Right, therefore. It is true until the end mm -hmm. of time. Okay. How do we decide who goes first? It doesn't say. It just says decide who goes first. Do you want to flip a coin? I have a coin on me. Sure. Okay. Let's flip a coin. I have, and I'm sure you of all people are going to love this little party favor that I have here. I that you just keep in your pocket? I just keep in my pocket. Your pocket party all favor? All time. Yep. Yep. I just keep it in my pocket at all times. This is a replica of Two Faces coin from Batman. Great. So it has the scratched off Liberty on one side, mm -hmm. and it has the regular Lady Liberty on the other. So we pick scratch and not scratch. Right. I pick scratch. You pick scratch. Allie picks scratch. We flip it and scratch. Scratch. So, so Allie go goes first. first. Okay, yes. great. So this is a game it's super easy to play. You get your hand. The goal is to not explode when mm -hmm. you draw the exploding kitten card. I'm sorry, we just glossed over the fact that I and constantly carry a replica of I two did that on coin. purpose. I did that <laughs> on I'm just saying, maybe purpose. there are some ladies out there who would be impressed by the fact that I always carry around a replica of Two-Faces coin from Batman. Ladies, if you are impressed by that, uh, comment on our YouTube, get into our DMs. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to play See the Future, where I get to see the three cards top at the three top cards of the deck. Top three cards at the top of the deck. Okay. All right. So now you have seen, and Ali has seen the future. I have seen the Yeah. So future. this is, yeah, this is a card game where each card has a different direction on it. Uh, and the idea is that you play, whoever goes first will play a card. You can play as many cards as you want or play no cards at all. And your turn is over when you draw one from the deck. Yes. Yes, and yeah. the cards all have a, mm -hmm. a joke on them. Yeah. So this one is deploy the special ops bunnies in order to <laughs> see the top cards. See the future. And the game yes. is over when you pull the exploding kitten, or in this case, the imploding kitten from the deck. That is when the game is yep. over. And then I'm also going to play shuffle. A plague of bat farts descends from the sky, <laughs> and I'm going to shuffle the deck. Oh, that's interesting that you decided to look at the top three cards and are now shuffling the deck. Essentially getting rid of the three cards that you saw. And I'm going to draw my card, and we're done. Okay. All right. Uh, so I am going to play... Uh, I'm going to play a see the future card, uh, which allows me to privately see it's a, uh, what type of, uh, it's a, it's an omelet cat looks oh, like, it oh, it's uh feast upon a unicorn enchilada and gain its enchilada powers. Ooh. <laughs> it's a unicorn enchilada. So one, it looks two, like a crab three. It does look like a crab, which is what was. Oh, and now I me. see. Yeah. Now I see it. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is this? Okay. All right. Cool. So I have now seen the top three cards on the deck. And I am going to... Uh, I'm going to do a targeted attack that says, Fire the Fat Hamster Crossbow. Uh-oh. And what it does is it ends my turn and forces the player of your choice, that's you, to take two turns... 
and play continues from that player. So you are going to have to oh, uh, put it in the discard pile, your cards. The card you played. Oh, oh yeah. that's discard right. Pile. Discard yeah. pile. There's that's a discard a thing. pile. Right. So you play two turns. So I get to play two turns. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I like the illustrations on these. It's done by the oatmeal. Yes. Yeah. Funny comics, the oatmeal. Okay. So I'm going to alter the future. Okay. Which is where I draw three and then I rearrange. <laughs> the three that you draw. The three that I draw. <laughs> And okay. then I'm going to draw my card. Okay, that ends your turn. That ends my turn, so that's one turn. Yeah. And my second turn, I'm going to play a feral cat. It says, I am lonely and confused. Uses any cat card with no instructions on it. And when I play a pair, uh huh, I get to take a card from you, I think. Where does it say that? In the rules that oh. I read. Yeah, but that's a, that's, a, that's a pair of non-direction cards. That's what this is. Oh, that's a non-direction card? Use as any cat okay, card got you. with no instructions on it. Oh, okay, okay, got See you. How Dash tries to cheat. All right, so you know, I was just all right. Go ahead, pick a card, any card. Okay. Okay, great. And now I get to two. You have to draw one, or well, no, you play. Drawing is when you end your turn. Um, this one's fun. And mm -hmm. my turn by drawing the card at the bottom of the draw pile. Yeah. And it says, "Release fireworks from your underpants." <laughs> okay, my turn is done. Discard. I know. I know. We're used to like keeping cards. Yeah. But... I forget that a discard oh, pile wait. is fully oh, a thing. I drew it and my drew, turn. That's your turn. Bye. Uh, yeah. I accidentally drew a card because I'm so used to drawing at the beginning of a turn, not at the end of and a turn. And they did that on purpose, too, I bet. <laughs> I guarantee they did that uh, on purpose. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. Ali is looking through yes, her cards. I am looking through my cards. That's the only downfall of these games is like you have to take some time to look at the cards and what the directions I'm gonna, are. I'm going to attack by unleashing the Caterwalkie. Uh-huh. <laughs> and my turn without drawing a card and you have to take two turns. So oh, you just, you just got lame. your turn back. Ah, uh, great. The turn that you the just turn that I squandered. just squandered. Okay. So I'm going to play favor, which is one player must give you a card of their choice. Okay. So give me a card of your choice. Any card. Any card at all. Any card. There we go. Allie has given me a card. Okay. It says, uh, okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to do another favor card. Give me another card of your choice. Okay. Yep. Thank you very much. Uh, wow. Yep. You're asking for a lot of favors. Yes, and then I will end my turn by pulling a card. Okay. So that's one. That's one turn. Wow, uh, I really have made a mistake. And then on this turn, I'm going to do the targeted attack. Unleash a shark who hurts with words instead of teeth. Oh. <laughs> and the drawing is of a shark jumping out of a flaming liquid mess. And it says, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. He hurt you with his words. Uh, the instructions are end your turn and force the player of your choice, that's you, to take two turns. Play continues from that player. Oh, the shark so, who hurts you with yeah. his words. So I end my turn without having to draw a card. And the reason you don't want to be the one to draw a card is because if you draw the exploding kitten. The imploding kitten. The imploding sense. kitten. Yeah. You lose. You lose. That's right. All right. So that ends my turn yeah. and you go, so you, you have to take two turns. Take one by drawing. So uh -huh. that's one. Yeah. And then Ooh, I'm going to You went real play, quick to the end. Yep. I'm going to play a skip. Okay. So it skips is, me or skips no, you? No, I end my turn without drawing a card. Oh, lame. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play favor. So give me a card of your choice. Thank you. I only have two cards left. Oh, excellent. Uh, so... You gave me the rainbow Ralphing cat, and it's literally a cat vomiting that rainbow. rainbows. Yeah. Uh, but I have another rainbow Ralphing cat, so I'm going to play that pair. And then I'm going to play... You get to take a card if you pay. play no instructions, remember? Okay. I took one from you. Oh, so I get to take one from you? How many cards do you have left? 
Just the Just one? Just the one. I will, and you know what it is. I do, and I will take it. And yeah. then I will play... I, I just lost my only defense against mm-hmm. the imploding kitten. Yep, that's, that was strategery on my part. Yes, it was uh, strategery. <laughs> I'm going to play the reverse, which is receive a hairy tummy massage. Oh, no, I will not. <laughs> I will not. You won't You won't give me a hairy no, tummy massage? No, I will not. <laughs> reverse the order of play and end your turn without drawing a card. Bam. So Thank now you. you have nothing to play. I have nothing to play. So, so you I'm have to draw a card. a card. Yeah. And you can't defend. Very good. So my uh, turn. Do you think people still know what strategery even refers to? I don't to? know. I don't even think so. It's so long ago. It's so long ago. <laughs> but I've said it for so long that it's hard to say the right thing. Right. Uh, for anyone for anyone who is not our age or yeah. older listening, <laughs> um, it's from a very old... But it must have been an early 2000s era SNL sketch. Yeah. It was about George W. It Bush. Was a, it was George W. It was during uh, one of the Bushes being elected. Uh-huh. And they were, it was like a fake debate between <laughs> Bush and whoever was running against Bush at the time. Uh-huh. And they were like, okay, summarize your, your, uh, your campaign in one mm-hmm. word, and I don't remember what the other guys. <laughs> the other guy had to be John Kerry. No, it wasn't John Kerry. Who ran against Bush the first time? Kerry ran against Obama. No, wait, yeah, yes, the first time, yes, the first and then time. McCain it was Kerry the Obama. second time, and maybe it might have been McCain Obama the second time. Uh huh. Who ran against uh, George Bush? I don't it remember the first time. It, wasn't Clinton? Oh, because it was he Al Gore. Two. Maybe that's what I, Al- it might have been. Al Gore and George Bush. Right. And Al, Al Gore, Gore was said the first maybe time. internet. He might have right. said internet because <laughs> he then, invented the internet. Right. And then Bush <laughs> said strategery. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, it's a funny SNL sketch. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. you go on the interwebs on uh, the YouTube's and look it up. Yeah. I wonder who played George W. Bush Senior because I know Junior was not Junior, but the original. Sorry. George Bush Sr. was played by Dana Carvey on yes. SNL. Yes. And I think Will Ferrell played Junior for a while, but I don't huh. know if he did it the whole time right. or. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There, he definitely played W. Uh-huh. HW is the first one. Right. He definitely played W yeah. at some points. Yeah. Whether he did it the whole time or if he left SNL before. Mm-hmm. Bush left office. I don't. I don't remember. Right. But he definitely did. But it was fun, and that's where that joke was from. <laughs> strategery. I don't even say tr- strategic anymore. I just. Say I just strategy say strategery. Yeah. Strategery. Um. Yeah. I. I forget that it's yeah. not that. Yeah. I drew a card by the way, so my turn is over. Okay. Your your mm-hmm. turn is over. Okay. I'm gonna draw a card because mm-hmm. I only have two cards. At All this right. Point. So I am going to. I'm gonna. You know. I'm gonna draw a card. Are you? Yes, I am. Okay, I've drawn my card. Okay, I'm going to uh, see the future, which okay. is rub the belly of a pigacorn. It <laughs> what is the hell exactly is a pigacorn? it's exactly what you think it is. Describe uh, to me what you think a pigacorn is. A pig with a unicorn horn. Yeah, yeah. And you you have got it. Okay, so now you have seen the top three cards. I have seen, and I have you have drawn selected, and I will play alter the future, which allows me to privately view and rearrange. The top three cards on top of the pile. One. What does it say on two, it? Two. Three. Go time traveling with a crab and disrupt the space crab continuum. Mm. Can I tell you a student was trying to explain linear algebra to me today? Uh-huh. And they were successful at the time, I understood. But mm-hmm. now I was like, so... So it's just like multiverse theory. And he's like, well, yes, but also no. And I was like, well, then I'm I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> it's such a sobering moment when you realize that like a 19 year old is way smarter yeah. than you. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what the whole premise of the show. Are you smarter than a fifth grader was? Yeah. But also. Yeah. Fifth graders are in it. Right. And adults have not been in it. Most adults have not been mm-hmm. in a classroom school environment for decades. Yeah. Like, I'm in that environment every day because that's what I do. Mm-hmm. So, like, I would be good at that game. Right. But 
Fair. Yeah. If you have not been in school in 20 years and it's not relevant to you yeah. that Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president, then why do you care? Mm -hmm. Like right. you've you're shuffled right. that right. information out of yeah. your brain and it's not something, it's something you're going to use every day, but in something that's more relevant to your every day, which is why we like playing trivia games right. because it brings all like that. Information you could probably name all three of your different email signatures and describe exactly what they look like. Right. But a fifth grader doesn't know what an email is. Right. So yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> So there's, yeah. you know, and emails, I think mommy or daddy have to put in the buy it's me games. Different. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, wow. That was quick. Okay. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have anything I can yeah. play really. So um, I've got to just take cards. I'm going to play shuffle. Aber Crab Lincoln is elected president. What wow. a coincidence. We were I just talking that about happen. that. Yeah. I made that happen with my mind. And then it's like, it looks like a half crab, half Abraham Lincoln. And it says, for sure and shellfish years ago, I will heal these cards as I healed a nation. And the action is shuffle the draw pile. So I'm going to shuffle the draw pile. Wow. It is a disturbing image. It is really disturbing. So think about a crab, mm -hmm. but just, no, think about Doc Ock. Okay. In terms of like a leg situation. <laughs> and then on top of it is like a pie with crab claws coming out. And yeah. then on top of that is a zombie Abraham Lincoln yeah. with a, of course, with a top hat. It's horrible. How do you know it's Lincoln if, if he's he doesn't not have a top, a top hat? hat? Right. It could be literally any other president. <laughs> <laughs> Just could, kidding. It could be. He also had a dark hair as opposed to. Yeah. He had the beard and dark hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I have drawn, and now it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to draw from the bottom. Okay. Of the draw it from the bottom, now we're here. Draw it from the bottom, now the whole world here. What? Right. Are, what? Are it you... started from the bottom, now we're here. What are you talking about? It's a rap song. Okay. Uh, I'm going to alter the future, privately view, and rearrange the first top three cards, and it is a summon the golden-haired manatee, and it, it's a manatee with a long gold. It's a Rapunzel manatee? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at her. <laughs> yes, queen. Or him. Or him. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to tell with manatees. <laughs> it's a man a T. Um, there's a spot by where I live where I can go see manatees if it's a cold day. Hmm. It's pretty cool. That's a cool thing about Miami. There's just like yeah. random peacocks around. Yeah, yeah. Like if you random know where manatees. to spot. You, yeah. If you know where to go on a cold day, you can see a manatee. Okay. There's, you know, right. pet birds that mm -hmm. are now wild birds. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, if you're not from South Florida, or maybe you are from South Florida and just never heard this story, there was there. there's a theme park. It's not a theme park. It's like a zoo-ish thing. Yeah. It, it was called Parrot an Jungle. Experience? It's an experience. It's called Parrot Jungle. It was Then it became Parrot Jungle Island, and then it just became Jungle Island. Um but when it was... Which is what it is now, right? Yeah, right Island. now it's Jungle Island. So when it used to be Parrot Jungle, it was just a very big... There were like shows featuring parrots and there, were, there was a few other animals, but it was mostly it was tropical like an aviary. birds. It was like an aviary, a big yeah. aviary. So when a hurricane ripped through and ripped open the aviary, tons of tropical birds that are not native to Florida right. flew out and... Pretty much inhabited all of South Florida. Yeah, I mean, how do you get them back? It's right, a bird. you can't. Yeah, it flies. Right, and they're freaked out because of the storm or right. whatever, and they're just like, "Well, now we're gone, and there was no way to get them back." And now you can be walking down the street and see a bunch of conors or parrots There's or whatever. A macaws at UM. Macaws. They live yeah. around UM's campus, and then those green ones—they're like Con little green. I think those are conors. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what a conner is. It's like a little. I know a condor. It looks like a really tiny parrot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like green. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. wild. And they're super loud in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny. Sometimes I'm just driving or walking around Miami and I'm like, is this a zoo? Like, am I in a zoo? <laughs> what is what is happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's just a peacock. is you know, sail feathers walking around. Yeah. And you're like, I'm, sir, I'm sorry. I. Okay, sir. <laughs> Yeah, the peacocks are another thing, though. The peacocks were because of some, like, rich Coral Gables people brought some peacocks, and then they just got out and became... It might have been the peacock family. There was a oh, peacock maybe. family who came in... It's possible. 
And yeah, they like are all over the built place. Built Miami. But I, need, I don't know if they brought the actual. I need y'all to understand. Who's turn? I'm sorry. Is it's it your, your turn. turn I, already, or my turn? I already drew. It's my turn. Oh. When you go around Coral Gables or just south, south or west Miami in general, um, there are just peacocks. The way that pigeons <laughs> would be, or like crows would be in some urban cities, there are just peacocks. I, I mean, I don't think it's that prevalent. It's like if there's deer. Right. Like, that's what I equated okay. to. It was like All right. deer Northern where deer. I grew up. Yeah. Or like you don't see them everywhere all of the time. Mm-hmm. But every once in a while you'll be sitting and just like look in your backyard and you're like, oh, there's three. That's, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's what's happening. Uh, I'm just crossing the street. I'm going to play targeted attack, which ends my turn and forces the player of your choice. Is that To me? take two turns. Yes, that's you. That's you. So I have to take two turns. You now. have to take two okay. turns. Turn one, drawing uh-huh. a card, and tra- turn two, drawing a card. All right, Great. and I am going to draw a card. I have a card. Okay. <laughs> I that have ends, a that ends my turn. Card. I have drawn a card. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tell you. I what have it is. a card. <laughs> okay. Um, you played the reverse. reverse. Okay. Well, actually, that doesn't make sense because I already drew a card. So that was the end. Oh, that so was I the can't... end. Yeah. So you can't. You can't right. play it after you end your turn. Exactly. You can play it on your next turn. Right. Uh, I ca- got caught in the same trap that yeah. you got caught in, which is... You drew thinking you, drew you had to draw first. to begin your turn instead okay. of to end it. All right, cool. I have drawn a card to end my turn. I'm going to reverse, which means I don't draw a card to end my turn. Mm. And I'm going to play See the Future. Uh, summon the Mantis Shrimp. And it's like a weird, trippy-looking Mantis Shrimp. And it's it's like uh, so the speech. Are you allowed to play that card? Yeah. Given the fact that you're allergic, I have, I'm not going to eat it. I'm just going to play it. <laughs> With these eyes, I see all things, regardless of space or time. Time is but a vessel for the blood-soaked rainbows. <laughs> That's what he says in like a weird, wow. messed up speech bubble. And it says privately view the top three cards of the deck. So I feel like there's. He's a cute little mantis he's shrimp. Trippy looking. He's cute. What's the difference between a mantis shrimp and a regular shrimp? I think shrimp? it's just a big, big shrimp. Hmm. Okay. I have viewed and I have placed back. Great. And I will draw to end my turn. Go ahead. I will draw. Allie's going to draw directly. Yes. Done. And I shall draw. All right. Go forth. Give me a favor. Dash. Oh, you would like a card of my choosing? I would like a back hair shampoo and a card of your choosing. <laughs> I am going to give you Beard Cat. Here you go. Oh, it's a hipster. Yeah. With a cat in his beard. <laughs> How fun. Yeah, the card that Allie played. Or it could be Abraham. I don't know. Is this Abraham Lincoln? Oh. There's no top hat. Ask for a back hair shampoo. All right. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, Although props to you for asking yeah. for what you need and mm-hmm. feeling safe enough to, to ask. ask. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, end your turn without drawing a card. Force the next player to play two turns. This is nope. Oh, Allie plays the nope. Nope. So what does it say? What is the it just action? Says no. No, the action. I don't have to stop the action of another player. I can play it at any time. Oh, okay. Nostradamus speaks the truth. All right, so uh, so that card doesn't count, so I guess I have to draw to end my turn? Okay, done. <laughs> and I don't have to play two, I think. Is no, you don't. There. Yeah, it's a key there. Okay, I'm done. You're done? Yes. Uh, all right, I'm going to draw. Okay, I have drawn. I'm going to draw again. Okay. Ooh, Ali has drawn again. I'm going to draw again. again. Okay. I've drawn a lot of cards. This yeah. is a yikes. Same, but I have a I have a strategy here. Yeah. So I just played the a pair of catermelons. Yay. They are cats that look like watermelons. All right. And now I get to pick one of your cards. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Okay. She picked a reverse card. <laughs> yeah. I really I thought I had a strategy and then I didn't. No. Because the cards are slightly different colors, so I was like, "Oh, oh I bet they? you, I bet you the darker one is the old pack, oh, not the expansion pack." But gotcha. I think it might be the opposite. Yeah, I thought I had a strategic, no. a, st- a strategery. Okay, but I, I do not. Drawn. Go ahead. Um, reverse. 
so I don't have to draw. You're going to end your turn without having to put down a card? Yes. I am going to play a, like to a pair of hairy potato cats. So I get to pick one of your cards. Okay. Uh, pick this one. Did, get the great. beard, the beard <laughs> cat back. I got the beard cat back. Uh, and then <laughs> I'm going to draw a card to end my turn. Excellent. I'm happy with this. Okay. Go, Ali, go. Go. Do you Allie, remember? Go. Can we just play a, a one that's not in a pair? No, you have to play them as a pair. Yeah, pairs. that's the okay. that's the point of them. Okay. I have ended my turn. You Thank have ended you. your turn. I will play. I have two beard cats, so I will play the beard cats. Honestly, the hairy potato cat is very cute. It is very cute. It looks like a baked potato, but it's a cat and it's well, hairy. It, yeah, it looks like a cat. Yeah, like a just a brown cat. I don't know if you guys have noticed here, but we're picking up the pace of the game now that we've gotten used to the rules. And also, because we don't want this podcast to be 45 minutes long. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Even I though we're having fun turn. with some of our side conversations. I ended my turn. Excellent. I'm going to play the skip, commandeer a bunny raptor, end my turn without a drawing. bunny raptor? Look, it's a bunny raptor. Oh my gosh, how cute. Yeah. I'm telling you folks, this card game, just for the drawings and illustrations alone, are worth it. Yeah. Who would have thought of a bunny raptor? What a delight. So I will be shuffling the draw pile with an electric magnetic Pomeranian storm okay. that has rolled in <laughs> from the east. A Pomeranian storm? An electric magnetic Pomeranian storm. Okay. Because they have all that hair. Yeah, so right. So the static much, electricity. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. The, the static and then you get the mm -hmm. shock. Ooh, we're getting down towards the end like, of these cards. You know, this, this, this imploding cat's got to be around here somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if you have any diffuses in there. Okay. I still do not, and you know that <laughs> quite well. You know quite well that I do Yes. Not. All right, here we go. Yes, he says. Uh, I'm going to draw. Okay. I have drawn. I don't have anything to play, so I need to draw. I'm going to draw. Okay. I still don't have anything to play. All right. I'm going to end my turn without drawing a card and force the next player to play two turns. Yikes. Yeah. And you don't have any nopes? I do have a nope. Oh, too bad because I have another nope that nopes your oh, nope. Oh, no. And my nope says Leslie, uh, nope. feed your opponent a nope sandwich with extra nope sauce. <laughs> you have done that. Wow. So now you have to so take I have two, to turns. Do two turns. Yeah. Okay. So one. That's one turn. So this is. And this is my second turn. I'm going to alter the future. Ooh, good card. Yeah, because now you get to look at the top three cards and make changes. <gasps> this is strategy. She's using strategy, everybody. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. She drew the top one yep. to end her turn. Ended my and two now turns. I must draw. Also, this alter the future mm -hmm. is a fur maid. A fur maid? Yes. The puns are great, too. She's... A mermaid, uh -huh. but covered in fur. Hmm. Okay. A fur maid. A fur maid, indeed. Done? Your turn. Yep. I'm going to play a pair, a of, pair of feral cards. cats. Are there a lot of cats in this neighborhood? Um, like there are stray some. cats? Yeah. There's a few in my neighborhood. They're really sweet, though. I can't help it. I pet them. I Damn wash it. my hands when I come back. Allie took a diffuse card. Finally. <laughs> finally taking my diffuse card back. Yeah. Oh, and I end And now my you turn. end your turn by drawing. Okay. You got it? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to draw. I got, okay. I have drawn. Pause for hydration. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Liquid death. Hydration. Liquid death. Uh, you, so, so this Allie, is the bubbly one, though. Yeah, it's the bubbly liquid death. Kind of nice. How do you feel about it? It's fine. Yeah? Yeah. I could take it or leave it. Yeah, it's fine. I like the regular one, just plain old water. Some days, man, I'm just so thirsty. You know where thirsty. else you can get plain old water? Where? A tap. No, not the same. This it one's rich same. with minerals. No. It's, <laughs> is it because it says it on the can? Yes. You know, if it says it on the can, then it, it has must to be, be true. true. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. You get it. Yeah. Is it Ooh. my turn? Yes, it is your turn. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, I'm going to play. We're getting down. I'm getting stressed. We're getting down. Yeah, it's getting that. Where, where is this cat hiding? I'm going to play See the Future, and it is the all seeing goat wizard. <laughs> and the, it's a goat standing on, on top of a stump with a sign that says, Fortune telling, $20. Ask me questions. I can see the future because I am a magic goat 
That is why my beard is so exceptional. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Gaze upon the future. Two, three. I get to look at the future. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, I'm seeing the future. Gazed, you have gazed And now upon I it. will play shuffle the transdimensional shuffle. A transdimensional litter box materializes. Shuffle oh, the shuffle the draw pile. What a litter box. Yep. That's great, right? You don't have to pick it up after the cat. It I just poops and that's it. I love that. So now that I have shuffled the I think the, they make self-cleaning litter boxes. Yeah, they do. If you want to sponsor a self-cleaning litter box company, both of us have cats. Yes, we do. <laughs> hopefully not exploding ones. No, hopefully not. We both have Go cats. Ahead. I'm going to see my cat tonight. I'm so happy. I have to draw a card. So I did Ready? that. Yes. Allie has drawn a card. I can't really pay. I will play, play a card. Anything. Okay, I've drawn, and that ends my turn. Y'all, we are getting, we're getting down real close to the to end. It, there's like I am getting stressed. Ooh, ooh. I have a ton of cards in my hand. Yeah, there's like six cards left. I'm, I have a ton of cards in my hand. I'm getting very stressed about it. Allie is drawn. I've drawn. I've ended my turn. I'm gonna play uh, attack. Fire the crab apalt, and it's it's a crab on fire being launched at a bunch of people. And what does it do? Uh, it skips the turn and then nope. does. To, oh, that's too bad because I also have a jackanope. No. <laughs> so I noped your nope, so now you have to take two turns. But did you put nope sauce on it? I did not put nope sauce on it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to draw from the bottom of the pile. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Okay, and then I'm going <laughs> to... And then I'm going to uh, diffuse. Okay, so she pulled the exploding kitten, and now she diffused the, explo the imploding kitten. And now I'm going to put it back in the deck. Okay, she has placed it back in the deck. And now I'm going to take my... Second turn. Right. So now she has to take another turn. And I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it by drawing a card. So okay. you have ended it by drawing a card. Yes. All right. So now I'm going to... I'm gonna have There's to... There's literally only four, <laughs> four five cards, cards left. left. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. And it is the imploding kitten. However, uh, I have a diffuse. Who so says I, however? I say however. Why? And now I get to place the card back in the deck and draw a card to end my turn. Yes, I've drawn a card to end my turn. And I'm going to draw from the bottom. Oh! <laughs> this is getting intense. And then this is getting I am intense. going to skip <laughs> so I don't need to draw another card. <laughs> Strategy. Okay, uh, I'm, I have a taco cat. Wait, did I just take two turns? No. Draw from the bottom. Yeah. I drew. Right. So does that end my turn? Yeah. You drew from the bottom. And then I. Oh, well, I so you can't play that top. after. Okay, so yeah. I can't yeah. play the skip. Right. I'm sorry. I'm That's trying okay. to cheat. Uh, so I have the I am a palindrome cat, which means. No, the taco cat. Taco cat. Yeah. I'm a palindrome. It's a taco cat. Yeah. It's the same forwards the, and backwards. I, I know what a palindrome okay. is, but the cat is a taco cat. Got you. I get to pick a card from your deck. And I know you already played your one diffuse. And so. you got another and taco cat. I got another cat. taco cat. Okay, and I have no refuse but to draw, and I'm assuming, yep, that's the imploding cat, but I have one more diffuse. Do you? Yes, so I will place this card back in the deck. Will you? <laughs> and will then you draw know? a card to end my turn. And now and there will, are two cards. And I will skip, which you knew I had. You knew uh, I had to skip because I, I accidentally do. played it. I do. Did, it, did I do it on accident or did I do it <laughs> on purpose to make this win feel so much Is better? Is it going to be a win, though? Because my next turn, I have another pair of taco cats, mm -hmm. which means I get to draw one of your cards. And this is going to be the difference between victory and, oh, no. And except sad. No. Oh, you think so? You think it's a sad a defeat? sad, sad moment of defeat. Because you just gave me a catermelon. I and did. I already had a catermelon, which means I get to place down a pair of catermelons, which means I get to draw another card from your hand. I'm going to draw this one, which is a beard cat, and I don't have any other beard cats. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> which means I have to draw. It means you have to draw. <laughs> and what's going to happen when you do that? I'm going to draw the imploding kitten, and the game is over. <laughs> oh, too bad. So sad. 
No. Too it was bad. a hard so sad. Can I tell you it was a hard fought battle. We came down to the last card. La- literally last two cards. Yeah. And I had a diffuse, so you would have lost anyway. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh. I drew a diffuse all the way at the end. Oh man, that was intense at the wow, end there. That yeah. Was- intense we played the entire deck <laughs> i know i don't think i've ever done that in a game really of exploding kittens it's because we're both very strategic that's what it well is. and also i think i play with more people so there's more mm. exploding cats in there yeah but gotcha. when it's just two people it's just it's just the one cat yeah. in the entire deck yeah and there is a way to <laughs> the funny thing is the rules are like okay if you want to make it a shorter game for two people eliminate one third of the deck and i had already put the cat in there <laughs> and i was like surely surely we will not get down to the bottom surely that will yeah. not happen they, and they here, buried the lead is what that was here we did here we did <laughs> all right so that uh let's rate this the box let's rate it i'm gonna do the box the box yeah. is um it's kind of like a shoebox ish design but obviously much smaller um and it's a it's a very nice matte gloss uh type cover it's got a few um uv spots on it it's very nice um it has a black lining interior. I like it. I, I feel like it's a, I, I compared it to a shoebox a little bit earlier. So I'm going to say that it is like a, a really nice pair of shoes. You're going to give it a, a really nice pair of shoes. A shoe really box. nice pair of shoes. I like that it has box. the notch in the side. Uh-huh. It's very shoebox. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to rate the, <clears throat> the cards. The mm-hmm. thing I like about the cards, uh, the art is great. Mm-hmm. And also there's like a texture on the cards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That yeah is nice um so i'm gonna rate the cards uh, a furry blanket that you think mm. is like a dumb gift and then one day you just pull it out and you're like it's it's your time buddy let's see and then yeah. you're like i am never <laughs> i am never letting this blanket leave my sight yeah this feels correct. so great yeah that's correct so it's a fuzzy blanket fuzzy of cards. blanket of cards yeah. great playability uh, I always need to review the rules, mm-hmm. so uh, I feel like it. Maybe it's a game of of. It's a. I was gonna say chess. Like you always just I need, always a need to refresh on the rules, right? Who moves where? Mm-hmm. I'm not good at chess by right. any by any means, but I don't have yeah. it memorized. Who, what piece? Sure. Makes and I get moves. that because you do have to sort of think a move ahead like you were doing and I was doing. Like, right. So I know I need to draw. So and I, yeah. Yeah. It's easier than chess, but it is chess-like mm-hmm. in play for I me. get that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm very bad at chess. Okay. <laughs> just for the record. We uh, will not be doing a chess episode on this. No, we it will not. It will be five minutes long and I will just cry. <laughs> I know how to do checkmate in four moves, but nobody ever falls for it. Um. Yeah, because anyone can get on the internet and Google <laughs> yeah. how to do checkmate in four moves. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, fun, it, very fun. I had fun. The drawings are fun. The puns are fun. The it's uh, reading the oatmeal comic online fun. Yeah, basically, yeah, reading the oatmeal comic online. Yeah, yeah, very cool. So that was exploding kittens, little ghosties. I'm sure you played it. If you've played it before, uh, tell us yeah. what you think. And there's an entire line of uh, like exploding kittens is now a brand. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. we've played their games mm-hmm. uh, on the podcast yeah. before. We've right. played, I think, Taco Cat. No, we haven't played Taco Cat yet. We it's there. It's Cat looking yet. at us. It's, it's looking at it. That's why I'm looking at it. Right there. But yes. we have played other oatmeal games. Yes. Uh, Little, a Little Birdie is an, Little Birdie. Is an Exploding Kittens mm-hmm. game, and it's all drawn by the oatmeal people. So, yeah, so very cool. Yeah, uh, the, the games are quirky, and they have humor to them built in. Which really, really loud librarians. Like. Yes, that one was really fun, and that That's was right. a, it's a it's exploding a kittens big game. Big hit yeah. in my house. Uh-huh. We we just played it this yeah. past weekend. Yeah, they have exploding kittens. They have uh, imploding kittens. Yeah, unstable unicorns. Like yeah. all those. Yeah, the games are always really uh, there's quirk and fun kind mm-hmm. of built into the games. Yeah. So even if you're playing it with a group of people that are maybe not that into game night. Right. There is an element of fun that's already inserted into it. Which right. Is fun. Exactly. Yeah. So that was it. That's our exploding kittens episode. I can't believe we haven't done it. Before I know. Now. We're finally here. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos, access our episode library, find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy, and contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And finally... If life's a circus, we're the clowns!
Okay. Blood sugar check. Ellie is checking her blood sugar. And if her blood sugar is okay, we shall continue. 